I rarely get on my phone after a game, but we had a minute before we came down here, and I talked to Angie, my wife, and she, first thing she said was how happy she was for me and our team, and very quickly out of her mouth came how bad she felt for Marvin, Marvin Menzies, who is like family to us. And then she went on to say, but Marvin's day will come. And it will. And it will. And anything we could do to hurt ourselves, we did. And they were brimming with confidence. And we found a way to muster the fight that you have to have to have a chance. You got to fight. And my only comment was it was nothing about here's what we're going to do with forming with X's and O's. It's fight and have some pride on, uh, in the name on the front of your jersey, in this program. This program has done too many good things. And I said, I know I'm going to start two guys. I'm not starting the guys that normally start for us, but I didn't until I talked to the staff. I said, I'm starting you, Zylan, because you brought fight. It's got to be productive fight in the second half. And I'm starting Dakari. And Dakari and Diero didn't want to go home. And I think Dakari tried too hard in the first half. But he's a prince of a man, and uh, nobody competes harder, nobody's for the team more than he is. And we found a way to make a basket, and then they did what we did in the first half. They couldn't make a basket. So we're appreciative that we're playing tomorrow, and we're going to be determined to play 40 minutes like we did the last 20. I feel like it was more of us. Uh, I know I had three turnovers in the uh, first half, and they, they really uh, get out and run here. So uh, that's something we couldn't, we talked about, we harped on not turning the ball over. And uh, as a senior, as a leader, I can't, I can't do that. I have to play better for us to continue winning. I've known Marvin for 18 years now, and I've watched how he handles every situation. He's tough-minded, he's fair, He's relentless in his approach to recruit. And this game, is, it starts with recruiting. You need players. Everybody needs players. And he was working with less than a half-filled deck. Nobody's fault, but that's a fact. Tonight, we benefited from that. When they had limited numbers and they got in foul trouble, Mooring fouled out, and... Uh, to see a team compete like they did for 40 minutes tells you that he has the respect of his club, that they listen and they care. And that will win for you. Uh, Marvin can recruit and Marvin can coach. So you combine the two, uh, I'm convinced he will be successful.